The Owls Rice are lined up is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. such a big morale lift. This was a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. He splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It was a rough road on their last drive as the fumble led to a touchdown. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. big guy up. You can't allow the fullback to run wild like that on your defense. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. That makes it second and 14. It's second down now and 14 to go. Ball on the 50. Quick pass intercepted. He's at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Tackle right around the six yard line. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Rice is up by a touchdown. Go! Tackle made at the five. He's going to try and scramble. They bring the quarterback down. From the 11-yard line, third down. Can't get away from the pressure. Rice is hoping to make this a two-score game. It's up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. 
and he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Owls have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. Room around the corner. Nice run, and he's brought down. The action to the tailback, good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. six. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. Gain of three on the way. That makes it 33. He's scrambling. There he goes. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. Very effective play calling in a third down situation. It's plays like that you need to win ball games. Convert on third down. And he's tackled after a positive yardage. to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Up the middle for a nice game. It's a yard, maybe less. That'll bring up second and 11. Gets to about the 27 yard line. They came up short here trying to pick up the first down, but they still are in field goal range, and they're going to try to come up with three points. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal, and they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it's good! Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 10-3, right. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, this has really been stingy by both of these defenses. And the question is, can they keep this pace up, though? I think that that's a big challenge for them to be able to continue to play like this. Right now, the emotion of the game is favoring the two defenses. But I get a feeling it's a matter of time until one of these offenses starts playing. Rice up seven points. And he's tackled right around the 20. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. Second down, and they've got 15 for the first down. Ball on the 20-yard line. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He goes downtown. No, incomplete. Fourth and 
They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he has it on the corner. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intensely because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. He fights forward to about the 49. An exciting first quarter comes to an end. Rice's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. 57 is the mic. Watch 57. That's a great tackle at the 39. And now he's got the corner. He fights forward to about the 39. The penetration by the defense was so good on that play that it didn't matter who the ball carrier was. Anyone would have been brought down for a loss. Run it up. Run it up. Nice run up the middle. That makes it 37. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. The kick is up. It's got the distance, and he nails the long field goal. is lining up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Rice is up by four. And down he goes at about the 21. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 21. They come out in a five-wide set. He's tackled at about the 25-yard line. That's a gain of four on the play. That brings us third and 10. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. The 33 yard line. It's away and it's a booming punt. Looking for the corner. He takes it in at the 14. And he's tackled at the 27 yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offense coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taking off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. He fights forward to about the 30. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. That'll make it second and seven. Tries to get around the corner. Runs right for a nice game. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll make it third and one. Hey, check Mike 57. Mike 57. Run in! He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Pitches, and 
he's got room. Nice run there as they work the outside. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Ready, he steps out at the 32-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. a loss of about five. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. Kicks up. No good. He pushed it to the right. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Rice holds a four-point lead. Steps out of bounds. Around the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Catch and look out. He's knocked out of bounds around the 49 yard line. From the 49 yard line, first down. Short over the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 47 yard line. Rice is going to have to use their second time out of the half. tackle right away that one goes for good yardage and a first down yeah that's just a nice gain on second down now he's scrambling good open field tackle that makes it second and two Hits him hard at the 15. First down. He's on the run. And they make the stop at the six. That brings up second and one. Rice is up four. Fires quickly to the tight end. He tackles him for a loss. We played a half of football. The Owls lead 10 6.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They give to the tailback. He makes it to the 28-yard line. Rice is up by four. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Fires it out. Tackle at about the 37-yard line. Number four brings him down. That makes it first and ten. Scrambling around. So we're looking at another third down here. The cavalry's coming. Tackle made at the 37th. First down. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. That makes it second. second down and 14. Ball on the 41 yard line. Go! March to the floor! Motion to the floor! Check, check! Disco Raver! Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. The halfback with a carry. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. About four yards on the counter to the halfback. That brings us third and ten. Rice holds a four-point lead. He sails it low. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Number 15, the intended receiver. They'll call on the field goal unit. The kick is up. And he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's tackled at 
with positive yardage. About five yards and the quarterback keeper. Now he pitches it. Got the corner. Runs it right. Nice pickup. About the 35. That makes it fourth and inches. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He takes it at the 12. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The offense goes back out onto the field after picking up a field goal on their last drive. Rice is up a score. He's got an opening. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That makes it second and two. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. They'll bring it down at the 26. Really nice play by the defensive lineman. I like this guy's size and instinct. From their own 26 yard line, it's third down. Tackled around the 35 yard line. He makes it to the 30 yard line. He's scrambling. He dives and he'll be marked down. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. The halfback gets a couple there. They run a counter. They'll get him for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. Quick pass. He's hit and taken down. Rice is up by a touchdown. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. run up the gut. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. The Owls with a touchdown lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. He fights forward to about the 26. Nice run, and he's brought down. Yes, 
wrestle him down in the backfield. That's a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball in the 29. Let's go, Catches it, and that's all. Throws it deep. And it's picked off. It's the safety. And down he goes around the 39-yard line. Oh, no. They really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Rice up seven points. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for him. That brings him second and five. That's a great tackle at the 48. Call it a gain of eight yards. First down. He's tackled at the 40-yard line. That's a good one. That's two yards. That makes it second and eight. He's taken down at the 43-yard line. That's a good one. time in the game, unless his man is wide open, then he should just throw it away. It's these kinds of mistakes that can cost you a game. From their own 32-yard line, first down. Coming to you, coming to you. Tackle for a loss. Loss of four yards on the play. Brings up second and 13. Less than three minutes in the game. Rose complete. He's hit right away. Number 57. He makes the touchdown at the 33 yard line. Third down. quickly and it's picked off he steps up and makes a big turnover yeah he just made a huge play right there he knew what was coming all along what are you doing? we've got a first and ten ball on the 45 the 49-yard line. Army's going to use their first time out of the half here. He gets to about the 41-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. 
Makes it out to about the 30. And that's their third first down of the drive. The defense needs to figure out a way to stop them, or else they're going to have no problem putting points on the board. That's a deep nine on the play. That makes it second and two. Here's the give. Good outside run there. Call it a gain of four yards. First down. From the 17 yard line, it's first down. Under a minute left in the game. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. Here's the eighth play of the series. Double tight. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. 164. 164. The Owls, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team is able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.